And another live look at downtown Seattle, where perhaps the most unusual attraction is one you can't see. That's the Seattle Underground. Justin is above ground near the downtown hotel where the Packers have just arrived, and he'll have more in our playoff report. Also, one above ground attraction that we've been talking about and showing you the coffee culture. Rachel Monick has been showing us the sights and sounds and some of the tastes of the Emerald City. Today, some of the coffee and coffee shops Seattle's known for, including, of course, Starbucks, but also Beyond that, several independent coffee shops, including a Seattle bakery, where behind the counter she found a Whitewater native still wearing her number 12 Packers jersey. And they've been around town for the last several of days checking out some of those well-known landmarks. You got it. As we head to break now, here's a look at some of the places they visited.